Mount Vernon FR. Wear it for life. According to the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, more than 200 fires occur in U.S. workplaces on an average day. The results of these fires are the more than 5,000 workers that are injured annually in explosions and fires on the job, and the average annual cost to American businesses of more than $2 billion. Having a complete fire prevention program in place is crucial for employee safety and facility compliance. And the flame-resistant clothing that you provide to your workforce is an integral part of your program. In this video, we're going to explain the various parts of the industry standard for protective garments, NFPA 2112. This standard is recognized by OSHA and across industries as the standard that sets the minimum performance requirements and test methods for flame-resistant fabrics and components. NFPA 2112 defines a flash fire as a fire that spreads by means of a flame front rapidly through a diffuse fuel, such as dust, gas, or the vapors of an ignitable liquid without the production of damaging pressure. Although actual flash fires vary greatly in duration and intensity, they are typically characterized by high temperatures and a short duration. NFPA 2112 utilizes a standard method to evaluate and compare fabrics by exposing them to a set amount of thermal energy for three seconds. This is an example of an actual incident, which shows the intensity of such an occurrence. NFPA 2112 is the standard designated to protect workers from flash fire exposure and injury by specifying the minimum performance requirements and test methods for flame-resistant fabrics and garments. The standard covers the design, construction, evaluation, and certification of flame-resistant garments for use by industrial personnel with the intent of not contributing to the burn injury of the wearer providing a degree of protection to the wearer and reducing the severity of burn injuries resulting from short duration thermal exposures resulting from accidental exposures to flash fires. This video will focus on providing you with a better understanding of the primary test methods used to certify that a fabric that will be used to produce a certified flame resistant garment meets or exceeds all applicable requirements of the NFPA 2112 standard. We'll focus on four tests which include vertical flammability test, the heat and thermal shrinkage resistance test or oven test, the instrumented mannequin test, and heat transfer performance test. The primary purpose of ASTM D6413 is to determine the response of fabrics to a standard ignition source by measuring the vertical flame resistance of fabrics. Values for after flame time, after glow time, and char length are also measured by this method. Fabrics are tested before and after 100 industrial wash and dry cycles. Let's see what this test looks like. On the left side, you'll see the non-FR workwear fabric. And on the right, a flame-resistant workwear fabric from Mount Vernon FR. In this test, under controlled lab conditions, material response to heat and flame is measured and described. A test specimen is positioned vertically above a controlled flame and exposed for 12 seconds. Following exposure, the flame source is removed. Measurements are made on the length of time that the specimen continues to flame and the time afterglow continues. After flame time must be two seconds or less to comply with the standard. Char length or damage to the test specimen after application of a specified tearing force is determined. The standard for char length is a maximum of four inches. Notations on observations of melting and dripping are also recorded. As you can see from these examples, Everyday workwear can ignite and burn if exposed to an ignition source such as a flame or electric arc. FR protective apparel is designed to resist clothing ignition and in the event it does ignite, to self-extinguish immediately upon removal of the thermal source, which helps prevent further injury to the wearer. This is particularly important because burns from the ignition of non-FR clothing can be worse than burns from the initial flame exposure. Another test that is part of the NFPA 2112 standard is ASTM F1930, the Instrumented Mannequin Test. This test method is used to provide predicted body burn for single layer garments or protective clothing ensembles mounted on a stationary instrumented mannequin, which are then exposed to a simulated fire having controlled heat flux, flame distribution, and duration. For this test, a test chamber is equipped with a fully instrumented life-sized mannequin used to evaluate the performance of thermal protective clothing. The mannequin is a highly sophisticated instrument that simulates a flash fire 
having controlled heat flux and exposure time using the response of heat sensors and a skin burn algorithm to generate burn prediction data. Although a garment is tested, this is still a fabric test. The NFPA 2112 standard requires that a standard coverall be tested to eliminate variations in design or construction of coveralls. This is intended to eliminate garment variables so that the only difference is the fabric. This approach allows for comparison of the performance of different fabrics. The NFPA 2112 standard allows for a maximum of 50% predicted body burn after a 3-second exposure at a heat flux of 2 calories per square centimeter per second. When you evaluate FR fabrics for your FRC program, you can look for the predicted body burn percentage and know that this was the test used to calculate that number. This chart demonstrates the importance of the maximum 50% predicted body burn that is in the NFPA 2112 standard. The increase in body burn area has been shown to directly affect the survival rate of burn injury victims. As you can see from the chart, the chance of survival for a body burn of 50% or less is good although it is lower for workers over the age of 50. At 25% body burn, the chance of survival improves to nearly 100% for all workers regardless of age. However, you can see how the chance of survival decreases significantly for a body burn of greater than 50%. Two additional tests required by NFPA 2112 are the heat resistance and thermal shrinkage resistance tests. These are combined and run on the same set of specimens and are often referred to as the oven test. Three test specimens are suspended in an oven for five minutes at 500 degrees. Test specimens must not ignite, melt, and drip or separate, and they must not shrink more than 10%. A fabric's resistance to shrinkage when exposed to heat is considered important in minimizing the effects of a flash fire. This testing is conducted before and after three wash cycles. The ASTM F2700 heat transfer performance test is a measure of the heat transfer properties of fabric. This method measures the heat transfer through flame-resistant clothing materials subjected to a continuous heat exposure. In the test method, a swatch of fabric is positioned horizontally and exposed to a combination of 50% convective and 50% radiant heat. A sensor measures the amount of energy transferred through the fabric over time and compares it to a time-dependent empirical performance curve to determine the HTP value of a material. In addition to understanding the NFPA 2112 standard and the test methods used within the standard, employers may also want to become familiar with NFPA 2113, which is the voluntary standard on the selection, care, use, and maintenance of flame-resistant garments. This standard was developed primarily for end-users of flame-resistant clothing to reduce health and safety risks associated with the incorrect selection, use, and maintenance, as well as contamination and damage of FR garments. Employer responsibilities outlined in NFPA 2113 include the following. Performing a hazard analysis of the workplace. Identifying and providing appropriate personal protective equipment for employees. Training employees in the use and care of PPE. Maintaining PPE, including repair or replacement of worn or damaged garments. Periodically reviewing, updating, and evaluating the effectiveness of the PPE program. Employees that wear FR clothing are responsible for the following. Properly wearing PPE, attending training sessions on PPE, ensuring proper care, cleaning, and maintenance of PPE, informing a supervisor of the need to repair or replace PPE. Understanding the primary test methods used to certify that a fabric that will be used to produce a flame-resistant garment meets or exceeds all applicable requirements of the NFPA 2112 standard will help you specify the right products to protect your workforce. For more information, please visit our website, mvmfr.com, or give us a call at 706-734-4815. Mount Vernon FR. Wear it for life.